Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Another video from Emerald's Beadwork, our beading masterpieces. Uh, today I'm going to teach you about the spiral necklace. And my, big, my biggest pet peeve on YouTube is how all these videos, they make it seem like, oh, it's going to be an hour or two. That's a bunch of bull. And I'm sorry for getting graphic and excuse my language, but it pisses me off when they they want to teach you about what the artwork really entails, but they don't want to be honest about it. And that really bothers me a lot. This took me two days to make. This is a 18 inch um, necklace. And when I went on the video, the guy that I was following said, oh, this will take you maybe an hour. Bull. I think that if, depending on the beads, if you use bigger beads, it could take up to an hour. But this took me two days. Okay. It did not take me an hour. And I'm going to teach you how to start. This is quite easy to make. It's actually, um, they call it a spiral necklace. It's easy to make and it's um, great for beginners. I decided I'm, I'm going to be making um, artwork for uh, the program that I'm in. Like as you all know, if you don't know. I had a stroke in April and they put me in this program where they teach you about uh, nutrition, the values of food and all that good stuff and the workout. So the ladies that, I, um, that are my trainers, I decided that I'm going to make them something. They know that I, I uh, do bee work. So here we go. This is what I'm going to do. Like this here, I, I had to put a stopper bead on there. And let me fix my camera before I get into anything. Because I need to make sure that you guys are well positioned. And I don't want to go too close. Here we go. It's very easy how to, how how to make this, but when I um, when I what I learned through this, uh, you see the ends. I put on um, extra little beads on here um, after done, doing, it, and then I sewed on the clasp. So um, that proven to be challenging because of where I started with. Now I learned from that lesson that you put a stopper bead on, but also you want to put a knot down at the very beginning. So I'm going to do that right now. And if you haven't noticed, I'm using different thread. I'm using translucent thread. And I ran out of the regular, I don't want to do it that way. Okay. Yeah, I ran out of the regular beading thread, so I'm using translucent thread. It's a soft, wiry kind of thread but it should hold especially for necklaces okay. now. I want to make sure it's I want to make sure that it's down as far as possible It's awfully windy outside. We are expecting a really bad windstorm. Okay, so 
the colors I've decided and yes that looks like a lot but a lot of uh, brown but believe me it's probably gonna be just enough I'm assuming and these beads here what worries me is that they're actually really big and I decided these here are gonna be the out uh, this will be the inside this color here it will be the the out outside No, I should do it the opposite way. Mm. Yeah, I guess I, I should keep it that way. Okay, so you start off with four beads. I'm going to be making this the inner tube. So the the inner tube right there um, if you haven't if you can see see where the yellow is that's where this brown is gonna go okay so you start off okay that didn't go good <sighs> it's hard to be humble these days <laughs> I had an incident yesterday that really <clears throat> if I was in my younger years I probably would have been more violent but it really pissed me off what happened I'll tell you that in a second let me just get this on the roll here I want to make sure I get this. Oh, come on. <sighs> that knot wasn't big enough, so I have to put another one. And the challenging part is getting it right on. Right on the button. Ah, see, there's two knots. Right there, but they're not on top of each other, so I'm going to do another knot. Hopefully I can get this, do it this way. I did it by golly gee. Okay. All right. So I'm only going to show you the how to start this off because there's really nothing to it af after this. The, the main part that you just got to learn is how to start it off and then you're pretty much on your way because all through... All through the the whole um, action is the same same old same thing. So great, it's still not going through. <sighs> not big enough of a knot? You kidding me? It's tougher when you're using translucent thread. I hope I don't lose power. It's so windy where it's like a little mini hurricane happening out there. Wind gusts up to 90 kilometers. And we're expecting a tremendous amount of rain there, finally. 
Okay, so now I got four. And as you can see, it's it's going to be the same action all the way through. And then when you get to the very end, uh, you just add add three beads and then uh, three beads on, on each side and just sew them in. Okay, so here we go. It's going to be a fast video, so. All right, so uh, you start off with four. This here is going to be the in, inside. And three. Of the outside. And then you just. Sew so these on together. Like so. And it's okay if it if it if it looks like a little bend in 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 there. Okay. Okay. So now you always have to remember this because this is going to be the ongoing thing. You just need one of your inner and three, three of your outer. So that's how I'm going to refer for, refer to inner and outer. Now, once you get through this, you're always going to go for your inner. You ha you have to count down from the top and work your way down. You count down. So you need four, you have to sew in four beads. So one, two, three, four. So that'll leave the last one hanging. Hopefully I can get through this. There's one, two. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> See, I'm not used to this kind of thread. Okay, four. One, two, three, and four. And you just push it to the side. You push that orange to the side so that it looks like this. Now you're ready for your next batch. I just got to straighten out my, make sure. is going to be a task dealing with translucent wiry thread but um, it's going to work out great for the long run because it's going to keep it nice and like the oh come on <laughs> it's going to be tough okay Okay, now I'm ready for <clears throat> Okay, so one inner, three, outer. Now you can't continue on and complete the 
the sewing action until you bring all the beads right straight down because remember you have to sew in these four so it's always going to be four but you always count from the top one two three four down remember your outer beads are going to be right there See how that just slides right in place. One outer, three inners. I mean, one inner, three outers. Sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to confuse you. Uh, this thread is becoming challenging and it's getting stuck on the chair. And this is not going to take you no damn hour. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, I just, what bothers me is when they say those kind of things. This is why I like my uh, videos to be uncut, unedited, because... I'm going to be real about my beadwork. I don't know why people want to get into falsehood like that. I don't like that because my biggest pet peeve when I got on to YouTube and start following videos, teaching myself how to, to bead, it pissed me off when they say, oh, this should take you an hour. Bull, be real about it. I mean, you're you're on YouTube teaching people how to bead. Be honest about it. There's no point of lying because people are going to find it, find out for themselves. You know, and it it's so discouraging. So here we go. So so far, I got that much in there. Just need one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so I'm ready to tell you what happened yesterday. And because I'm in this program, they make you go for stress tests. They make you go for blood work, you know, just to make sure, uh, you know, just to see where you're at, to see if there's any improvement in your health. Um, because it's all about working out and getting yourself back to a norm but in a healthier way so yesterday I had to go for blood work and I have a needle phobia I'm petrified of needles getting blood work is something that I always have to work myself up to and usually when I go in there I usually tell them I have this phobia and I tell them exactly what I want them to do. It was something I learned off of a show called You Can't Lick Your Elbow. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the name of the show. And it has a bunch of natural remedies uh, you could try. Because um, a lot of people are not into the medication kind of aspects and... I, I, I'm one for not pills, and I take really bad anxieties when it comes to taking needles. And I think it's just because 
when I was younger, I had my second son, I had blood clots. So, of course, I had to teach myself how to give myself needles twice a day. And that lasted for a couple of months. I couldn't give myself needles anymore because I just didn't like it. And ever since then, I've had this needle phobia. And when I, when I go in there, I panic. I sweat. I want to faint sometimes. So I tell them what I've learned off in the show. Something that will help distract me from taking a needle. And I ask them, please warn me ahead of time. We'll count down and... Um, we'll count down and I'll cough just when a needle is entering. I said, but I need you to warn me ahead of time. And she was like, yep. And I told her twice. And I felt her um, wiping my arm with the, you know, the alcohol swab. And I was waiting for her to, to to do the countdown, and all of a sudden I felt the needle go in. Instantly I had a, a panic, and I, like, I got mad. I mean, I was livid. And the lady's like, oh, I'm sorry, are you all right? And, and, I, and she was like, I didn't know what you were talking about. And I'm like, I told you fucking twice, I know you understood. You know, and she was like, oh, no, I didn't understand what you were meaning. Like bull. Oh, I was friggin' livid. I got up, walked away from her before I, I had any other reaction because I was so mad I wanted to throw punch her. <laughs> and I walked away and I got out of the um, hospital as fast as possible because there was every bit of me that wanted to turn around and go after her. I mean, I was that furious. And... Needless to say, I'm never going to go back to that hospital again. Because that's the first time I've ever had an issue with anybody refusing to do things my way. It's my body, and I'm telling you what I need your help in. Every technician that I go in to get my blood work, they have no problem doing that for me. You not you might be doing a job, but it's my friggin' body. Listen to me, damn it. <laughs> I went to sleep last night, still furious, and I woke up around eight, seven thirty this morning. I just only had like a few hours sleep. I was still livid when I woke up this morning, and I had a hard time getting. I could not get back to sleep. I was like, "Well, it bothered me that much." But, and I keep telling myself, "It's done. It's over. Don't worry about it no more." So you see how that's turning out? And this is basically the action you got to do all the way through. It's one inner, three outer. One, two, three, four. And it's not big of a de uh, ordeal when if you ran out of thread as well. I'll show you in a second. Well, I won't show you in a second, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. When if you run if you're running low on thread, all you have to do is sew down through this, these three beads here. I know it's kind of blurry. It's my phone. So you just got to sew into these three beads here, the last three beads, and then sew up through the next two, and then sew down through the first three again, and then go down through one here and that's it and then when you sew back on you just basically um 
tie your uh, knot in into your thread and then you just go up through um, a line of this here and then start over and start doing it again you put your one inner three outer and and you just go on it's that simple I mean I know it sounds simple but yeah here okay so now it's not blurry so I'm going to show you again so you just sew in through these three beads here and then you come up through these two and you kind of go back or forth until it feels tight these kind of beads you can only go through them three or four times before you're at danger of snapping the bead and you don't want to be in danger of snapping any beads but that's how you lock in your thread and then when you come through here you knot your you knot your th new thread and you come up through here once you come up and have the thread like this then you're ready to start over start or not start over but continue on So I got one inner and three outs. <clears throat> yeah, I notice a big difference using this thread. <laughs> a big difference. One, two, three, four. And there you go. And that's all I'm going to show you today, folks. And then you just keep on doing this until you finish, until you get the length you want. That's a half hour. Half hour now. 27 minutes. I've showed you guys exactly. And so you get to see exactly how much you get to do. This is not going to take you no damn hour. Like the guy says in the video. This is going to take about two days. Like depending on how, um, how consistent you are with the beating. It could probably take you eight hours, I assume. If you know, it took me two days because I kept I kept putting it down and walking away from the the artwork. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one more and then I'm gonna sign off from here. But basically, that's how you do a spiral. This is great for beginners if you want to learn. And if you're watching my page, I mean my, um, my YouTube, oh, see, I almost did a boo-boo. You gotta pull this all the way down. You can't complete the sewing action without pulling this all the way down, and you just saw me almost making a boo-boo. One, two, three, four. Voila. See how easy that was. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. If you have any interest of me learning something, please uh, leave me a comment. Um, my goal is one day that if I get enough followers, I would love to do a beating session live with everybody. And... Um, 
I have changed my Facebook. I had um, my own Facebook page. I no longer have that. Um, Emerald B work on Facebook is my page. Uh, my Twitter and Instagram is still the same. But I'll leave it here because um, I just wanted to show you the introduction of how to start off with a spiral. And um, I wish, you know, like I wish I had to stop part way so that I could show you how to add this. But it's really simple. Once you get, it's going to get to like, like this here. It's going to look like this when you get at the end. And then you just add three beads. And then you sew on your your little clamp, whatever it is. You sew, sew that on. And then you add three more beads. And then you go into, um, like if it's this side, see how it's brown? So I would add three brown, sew on my clamp, and then add three orange. And then sew into the orange. And then I just zigzag my way through until I feel like it's it's enough that it won't unravel itself. And that's that's pretty much all you need to know right there. So have you um, have any questions, please feel free. Please like and subscribe my page. I mean my Facebook. I mean my YouTube. <laughs> Thank you for turning it, tuning in, and please like and subscribe, and please share, and um, yeah, have a good day. Thanks.